Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today, I am gonna do a little bit of a declutter. Not a big one, uh, but I do have a drawer that is like a graveyard for some palettes. And honestly, I don't like to throw things away because they cost so much money. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you're not gonna use it, why am I keeping it? And it's not like I can even give some of the stuff away because some of it is old and we should not be wearing old makeup and it just, Ugh, it just makes me feel bad every time I see it sitting in the drawer. So I'm like, it's time, it's time, it's time for me to get rid of these things. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to get rid of is the Tardiest, Tardiest Pro To Go um, by Tarte. I think my mother-in-law got me this, I think. And I think when she got it for me, I wanted it. And then I got it. I mean, I get obsessed with like nudes. I don't know why um, different types of nudes. I'm like, oh, so pretty. But at the end of the day, we have all these colors, really. I mean, unless it's like an earth shattering shimmer, we have these things. It's nice, uh, cute packaging. You know, this is metal. It's really nice with a little cute mirror, but I don't use it. And I don't think I can give this to anybody. I've had this for a long time. I don't think I can. I mean, I think I really liked this one color. Um, I think I really liked that at one point, but not so much anymore. So sorry, Tardiest, but you got to go. That's out. So the next one that I have is a, it's a small one. It's a duo. It's a NARS. Uh, I think this is the Mediterranean. Uh, it's not really a palette as much as this is duo, but I, I don't know why I bought this. I get obsessed with a color. I'm sure we're all the same way. We're like, ooh, the one color. Uh, but I bought it for this color. And I really don't know why. It's really not earth shattering. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, it's just, it's okay. But it's been sitting in the drawer forever. I can't even remember the last time I used this. Honestly, I don't even remember when I bought it. Uh, so that's pretty bad. So this is going to go... Uh, by the way, don't judge the look today. Oh, God, it turned into a muddy nightmare. It really did. I tried to put on lashes. I should videotape that. It is hysterical. Um, so no lashes today. <laughs> and the hair is already starting to frizz. And I'm starting to sweat. So the next item I have up for the official graveyard, the real graveyard, because I have got to get rid of this, is the Naked basics. Again, this goes with my theme of being obsessed with neutrals and nudes. I don't know why, because I have so many of them. And then I see things and I'm like, oh, so pretty. And it's like, okay. The reality is with my skin complexion, this whole section looks ashy on me. It doesn't look good. I thought it looked good, but it doesn't. And I'm really terrified of these dark, dark, dark colors. I mean, I don't, I'm not really great at blending. So those colors scare me. I don't even know why I got this. Again, I don't even remember when I bought it and that's bad. So that's gotta go. The next item might surprise some people. Uh, I got this for Christmas. I wanna say, two years ago, maybe three, maybe three. Um, it, 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 it bothers me to even declutter this, but the reality is I don't use it. And I find that when I have used it, it looks muddy. It doesn't look good. And that's the Naked Cherry Vault. It hurts me to get rid of this palette because it is so pretty. The colors are pretty and it's just it's okay I mean I don't really like to wear a lot of pinks I don't know what I was thinking when I told my husband I wanted this the lipsticks that came with this vault set because I think he got it for me like a vault set it came with a whole bunch of stuff like lip liners and uh, the actual vice lipsticks and this um, I liked everything else this I've used I never hit pan on anything 
some of the colors I don't even think I use. I may have swatched them, but I didn't use them. I don't know anybody that wants this. So this, I'm afraid, has got to go. Sorry. Sorry. The next item <laughs> that I'm going to be getting uh, rid of, because I think I used it one time. I was very excited to get it on sale. And then when I got it, I was like, this is no good. This is probably the worst palette I own. Used it one time. It was horrible. And I never used it again. And I threw it in the drawer. And the only reason I didn't throw it away immediately was that the sale was short-lived and it went full price. And I'm thinking, oh, it looks like people really want to buy this thing. But no. Um, it's from MAC. It's the Power Hungry palette. Sorry, MAC. This is not good quality um this is like a bunch they have a bunch of them again shocker with nudes um surprise surprise it's a, i mean honestly it's a little boring i don't know what the hell i was thinking i think i didn't see this in person i ordered this i think from macy's online they were having a sale i may have gotten it for 24 dollars. i don't know um super disappointed in it nothing at all special about this palette they have several palettes like this, the same weird layout, uh, different colors. After I tried this, I had no interest in trying the others. I would not waste my money on this. I'm sure MAC has um, great singles. People say good things about their singles, but this, no, no thank you. That's gotta go. So the next palette that I'm gonna be decluttering today is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Nice packaging, very, very sturdy, but again, really, I like now I see all these Urban Decay Naked palettes and I'm like, it is the same thing over and over again. And honestly, this is not exciting. I, I just, yeah, I, I, I don't know anybody that would use this either. I don't remember when I got this either. It breaks my heart to get rid of these Urban Decay palettes because they're not cheap. They are not cheap. And I'm sure somebody who has a lot more talent than I could use this, but I can tell you that I really wanted to like this shade here and it was crap. When you blended it out, all the shimmer that's in it disappeared. It was just like, mm, no. The rest of the palette, you can get these colors anywhere. Sorry, Urban Decay. But this is another one that's got to go the Naked 3. Yikes. That's a lot of Urban Decay that's going down the trash. Nobody I know will use this that I that I know of. I can ask around. But honestly, I'm not going to take the time to sanitize this and give this away. It's going in the out pile. Sorry. So the next thing that I'm going to be decluttering is another Urban Decay product. What is happening today? I, you know, I used to be obsessed with Urban Decay. Obsessed with it from high school into adulthood. Obsessed with Urban Decay. I was so happy when I reached that age where I could just afford to buy whatever the hell I wanted. And I think that's what happened. I went a little nuts uh, and started buying, oh, Urban Decay, I have to have it all. And then it was like, I don't, e I don't even use these things. This is, I don't even know what the hell this is called, honestly. This is an, uh, uh. I don't know. Beauty with an edge. Beauty with an edge. I don't, I don't know. No, no. I don't think that's what it's called. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm sure you guys know what the hell this is. Again, I was mesmerized by the packaging, the wavy plastic, very cute, boring on this side, but I bought it for these colors, these shimmers that I never use. Never. Um, you know what? I feel like I can't get rid of this. I feel, I feel like I can't. I feel like I can't do it. Um, I think I feel like I need to try to incorporate some of these shimmers. This, maybe, I'll, maybe this week I'll do something with them. And then if not, then, then it'll go. I'm, I'm going to hang on to this. I'm, I'm not going to let this go. This, this one gets to stay. You get to stay. You get to stay. She gets to stay. Ooh, I threw her. I'm so disrespectful. Oh, God. I, I can't let her go. So, another Urban Decay product. How much?
much Urban Decay have I purchased over the years? And it's like, I don't use any of this stuff. It is insane. I don't think I have one Urban Decay palette behind me. Um, they've all been sitting in a drawer. I, it's really a shame. I don't understand what, what I've been doing with my money all this time. This is old. I bought this when they did um, some Wizard of Oz thing. The Great and Powerful Oz. It was like a movie collaboration thing they did with the movie. I don't know. Um, metal. I got it because I got suckered into the movie thing. But these colors are ugh, boring. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I bought this. I should have bought the witch one. Um, well, they're both witches, right? This is the, I think this is Glenda the Good Witch. Uh, yeah, this is the Glinda palette. I should have got the other one. Maybe I would have used it more, but who will be kidding? Probably not. So, uh, sorry, Urban Decay. Yet another product. The Great and Powerful Oz. That movie came out a thousand years ago. Jesus, how old is this makeup? Oh my God. Okay. Another Urban Decay uh, palette I have to declutter. It feels like the whole drawer is Urban Decay. Um, this is the Naked on the Run palette. Oh boy. This is... What is this? I don't like everything in one thing. This feels very $10 Christmas gift that your Aunt Sophia bought for you because she knows you like makeup. Uh, no, this is very boring. That pink is just like, no, no, not for me. Um, it's just, I don't even know what this is. I don't remember buying this, honestly. This may have been a gift. I don't, I don't think I would have purchased this. Um, I did have the, um, other, I think it's on the run palette. I did have that. I got it for Christmas and I returned it the very first day the stores were open because I didn't like it. I thought it was boring. Well, not boring. It just was, the colors weren't for me. We'll leave it at that. But sorry, uh, Urban Decay, Naked on the Run. This has got to go. Um, yeah, I don't even like the names of the colors. This has got to go. I, I, I have no use for this. It has all this extra stuff in it. I, I won't even be using. So the last thing I am going to declutter today Oh boy, the, the, the journey to this palette and, and where we are today is the James Charles palette. Now, James Charles annoys me. He is so talented. <laughs> he is so talented. He's super young. I'm super old. Um, I don't want to talk bad about the kid. You know, he he's talented. He's very talented. He... I liked watching his makeup. I, I, I mean, if it's on, I will watch it. I don't think I'm subscribed to him because he annoys me. And that's not to say that I take sides because um, Jeffrey annoys me too. He does a lot of things that I'm like, oh God, get up, over it already. But James, you know, his artistry in, it, it inspired me to buy this palette. Now, the issue I have with this palette is it's so damn big. It, look at it. It's like, come on. It's so big. I'm, I'm not taking this anywhere. I, you know, I played with it when I first got it. I'm certain that there are colors that have never felt a brush. I'm certain of that. Um, I dug into the purple there. And I think that the reason I did that is for the same reason that you see that the orange is kind of dug out there. You know what I do with this palette? I use it to make eyeliner. I scratch off pigment from whatever color I want to make an eyeliner and I combine it with um, Duraline's Inglot and I mix it like in a little bottle cap uh, with like a toothpick and then I use my um, my god what the hell how did I just forget the word like this little brush this what the hell whatever they call this um, I use this and you can make your own eyeliner which is awesome because you don't have to go to the stores going crazy trying to find particular colors because I mean there's a lot in here now you don't need a lot of pigment to make an eyeliner with the Inglot you don't need a lot at all 
Um, and when you make it, it will not move because Inglot does not move. It is Duraline for a reason. It will stay in place. Um, you can get really beautiful. I have to say now I'm having second thoughts about decluttering this because um, this is a really great yellow. And the yellow eyeliner that I do have is garbage. When I put it on, it's patchy. It pills. It doesn't look good. So you know what? Maybe I won't declutter this. Maybe I'm, I'm being a little hasty. I just felt like, mm, why am I keeping it? I don't really use it. It has nothing to do with James Charles. I just think he's annoying. He talks so damn fast. I just, uh, slow it down. Slow it down. Um, but he is talented. That's undeniable. I will give him that. Um, I don't know. I might have to keep this just to, um, I'm going to keep it for a little while. Just for a little while. And when I, um, I'm going to make some eyeliners and I'll come on with, with the eyeliner on. Um, so you see that it doesn't move and how you, maybe I'll make it on camera. The only thing is I really hate applying, um, eyeliner on camera because I'm, I have such a shaky hand. Like I just, I have no hand, uh, control. So, and I also hated that the names of the damn colors are on this stupid plastic sleeve. I really hate that. Um, cause what is the point of naming them? People throw these things away. I don't want this every time I open it I'm like oh what color is that Ugh, I, I don't I don't like that I mean it a little bit more money and they could have put the names on the damn carton um and they made a mini of this maybe that I wish I would have known about the mini first I probably would have bought that for the amount of product I need to make an eyeliner because this is like eyeliner for the rest of my life um maybe I can depot these I don't know I've never done that before I don't think these are magnetized. I think I would have to like really, I don't know. I, I'll figure something out because I don't think I need all these colors. That's what I, that's what I'll do. I'm going to take out the colors that I want. Um, and then I'll chuck the rest. That's a plan. So I'm going to keep that to the side. That's what I'm going to do. So I will show you whatever mess I come up with. Um, I hope you like my shirt. This is actually a, um, what do they call this? Like a, like a mumu thingy that you throw over your bathing suit. Wore it today because it is sheer and it is hot in here. Um, so that's that. I feel bad. Oh, sorry, Urban Decay. Lo siento. But these colors, oh God, no. I had the honey palette in my hand. I was steps from the register and I put it back. Something in my head was like enough with the Urban Decay. Um, they do have other things that I like. I like their, they have like this moussey lip thing. Um, I think it's low def. They call them low def mousse lips. I don't know. Um, I like those. I like the moon dust eyeshadows. So they do have things I like. Um, I'm going to give that other palette a try as far as shimmers. Uh, but all of the other naked palettes, I just can't do it anymore. The ultraviolet, I have absolutely no interest in that. Um, I felt like it could have been so much more. I feel like Urban Decay is starting to slide. Um, maybe you guys need some young people working over there or something. I don't know. I'm old, but I'm just saying. It used to be really hip. Um, now it's kind of boring, honestly. And and it shows how many pals I'm getting rid of. And that's a lot of damn money uh, in that bin that I'm about to chuck. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. And um, next time, I don't know, maybe we'll talk about the shimmers and the Urban Decay, that palette with all the shimmers, which name I don't know. I'll have to look that up. But uh, I hope you like this video and please give a big thumbs up and a like and subscribe and I hope to see you again.